Welcome to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 12-16 from R.P. Hebeler Engineering Dynamics 14th edition. According to this problem, we have a particle which is moving along a straight line with an initial velocity of 6 meters per second. When it is subjected to a deacceleration of A as a function of velocity, where V is in meters per second, Determine how far it travels before it stops and how much time does it take. So to solve this problem, we have to use some equations. So we know that acceleration is given in terms of velocity. So we have velocity which is equal to d as over dt and we have to find the position. And we have acceleration which is equal to dv over dt so we can write these two equations in the combined form as ds over v and dv over a if we arrange them then we have a ds is equals to v dv and a is equals to negative 1.5 v to the half power ds is equals to v dv we can write ds is equals to v over negative 1.5 v 1 over 2 dv now we can apply integration on both sides so we have to put the limits for the left hand side we have the limit 0 to s and for the right hand side we have the final velocity which is 0 and initial velocity is 6 meters per second so the left hand side can be written as s is equals to and for the right hand side we have if we take this out then we would have 0, 6 v v to the power half dv we can write it as v 1 over 2 dv and the integration we can write this thing as s is equals to 2 over 4.5 negative and we have v 3 over 2 and we have to put the limits so we have 2 negative 4.5 0 minus 6 to the power 3 over 2 this would give us s is equals to 6.53 meters So we have found the position. Now for the time taken, we have acceleration is equals to dv over dt. So dt is equals to dv over a. Now we can use the integration on both sides to get our answer. So we have dt. Now the initial time is 0. Final is t and we have the function a is equals to negative 1.5 v to the 1 over 2 power dv integration right here and we have the limits 6 v so upon solving the left hand side we have t is equals to 1 over negative 1.5 i can take it up that would be negative 1 over 2 integration dv this would give us negative 1.5 v plus 1 that would be 1 over 2 and that would be 2 here right here and we have the limits 6 d v 6 so if i zoom out 
then we have p is equal to 2 over negative 1.5 we have v1 over 2 minus 6 1 over 2 the final velocity is 0 because it has to stop so v is equals to 0 so from here if you put v equals to 0 this would be 0 so t is equals to 2 over negative 1.5 into negative 6 1 over 2 so we have p is equals to 3.27 seconds approximately so this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and i will answer it as soon as possible Thank you.